Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Trump just sent Michelle Obama a bill she'll never be able to pay in her lifetime. Trump just sent Michelle Obama a bill she'll never be able to pay in her lifetime. Michelle Obama will go down in history as the first lady who spent more money than any other. In addition to her 214 personal assistants, 32 gardeners, 11 dog walkers and her own mother on the government payroll as a daycare provider, Michelle also purchased $11 million worth of new furniture, an airplane, four yachts and two limousines with taxpayer money. What's worse is that after she left, she decided she should be able to keep all of that stuff, even though technically it belongs to the American people. After an audit by the White House Budget Office, President Trump ordered that Michelle Obama be sent a bill for everything she should have paid for by herself but used government money instead. The bill, which totals $11 billion, is more than the Obama family will likely be able to afford in their lifetime. The tab includes $10 billion for vacations and the balance in food, clothing, liquor and cigarettes that should have been paid for out of their own pockets. The planes, boats and cars have been repossessed but they still have to pay for their use, wear and tear and fuel consumption. President Trump isn't messing around, either. Press Secretary Sean Spicer's assistant, Karen, told The Federalist, President Trump will garnish their pensions put liens on their properties and if necessary, strip them of their citizenship and send them back to Kenya. The American people need that money to invest in wholesome projects like the new Ivka Trump retail stores that will bring 1,200 jobs to America, lowering the unemployment rate to 2.1 percent. Obama never had numbers like that. Indeed he did not. Obama caused the worst unemployment crisis this country has ever seen with more than 170 million people out of work at one time or another. The disgraceful spending by his wife could have been spent on training those people rather than just giving them all $62,000 a year in welfare benefits. That's all over now. And Muchel will pay. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.